Gary. Hey, Chief. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. How are you? Sounds like you're sober this time around. At least you're not slurring like last week. Yeah, well, what happened last week was quite unfortunate. But at least the party was amazing, huh? Very funny, Gary. Listen, you know that this case is your last chance to prove yourself. Hmm, sure. So, what happened here? A man, Mike Hill, was found burned to death in his shed. We want you to take a look at the crime scene. Hmm, yeah. I know it's not easy to solve this case in one day, but you've done it before. I believe in you, so don't disappoint me. Yeah, I'll do my best. It seems that someone has forgotten today's newspaper here. A gasoline can, and it's almost empty. How did this vase break? And why is it still lying here? Now, I hope I don't waste my time with this. I think these coffee mugs were just recently used. Yummy. Well, look what I found here. A key. An action figure. Yeah, that's kind of odd. You have three new messages. Hey Mike, how are you? I know that you saw us. I was just wondering if we could talk. Just don't do anything rushed, please. Hello Michael, it's Jason from Mountainside High School. This looks like an old high school memory. Yeah, what's up, darling? Watch your tongue. You're on thin ice, Price. Anyway, we just got the autopsy report. Are you listening? Yeah, go for it. Hill's body was doused in gasoline from head to toe. We know he was burned alive because we found carbon monoxide in his lungs. 
Forensics identified a wound on his head which presumably rendered him unconscious. Hmm, okay. Anything else? Hill had traces of antidepressant medication in his system. Right, that's good to know. And what was the last thing he consumed? Nothing special. Lasagna and coffee. Interesting. Well, I better get going. Solving crimes and stuff. I would hope so. Oh, Mike, nice one. Yeah, this might come in handy later on. Now what is this? Some sort of secret password? Hmm. Mike wrote down everything he observed. Huh. 
some mushrooms. It's Gary. I think I've got the crime solved. Are you sure? If you accuse the wrong person, there is no going back. Yes, I'm sure. I know who killed Mike Hill. Then let's hear it. First question. Did you find out how Mike died? Okay, I see. But what happened in the hours before the murder? I'm not convinced yet. Who do you suspect to be the murderer? That doesn't make any sense. But, well, tell me, what did you find out about the victim's past? I think there's more to it. What did you find out about the murderer's past? Connections you're drawing today seem random at best, but come back to the police station first. We'll have a closer look into it. Listen, Chief, I really didn't want to do it. I had my reasons. I mean, yeah, sure, I picked on him at school, but that was just teasing. It's not the same thing as losing your family. You know, I took therapy for years. I learned to cope, but then I got cancer. It's like I'm being punished for something. At least that's how I felt. I thought about my past and remembered the kid I'd bullied in school. I figured I'd make amends. So I came by and gave him a visit. When he brought it up, I just knew. After all these years, it was him. I just lost it. I couldn't think straight anymore. It was like I was in a trance. So I picked up a vase and I kept hitting him and hitting him until he was lying on the floor. Once I'd realized what I'd done, I decided to destroy the evidence. I took his body to the shed and set it on fire. I regret it now. Out of everyone, I should know best that death is permanent. my expectations today. I am disappointed. Get your things and clean up your office.